guys, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 2. I am only a couple levels away from completing this section of the Pirate Seas, and as you can see, I'm also about to get the Melon Pult, which is pretty exciting. Also, there's this thing called the Rotabaga, which is a great pun, in my opinion. So I'm gonna do that, but first, I wanna try my hand at a secret level or two. According to my challenge log, my next plant to unlock is this cute little guy over here. Who is he? Gold leaf instantly creates gold tiles. Like the ones that you put your stuff on and then you get extra sun or something. What is this? Man, why is it gotta be here? Why is it gotta be here? Cause I don't like it here. This is a bad place. We got a few things we didn't have before, of course. So you never know, this could be good. I'm gonna go for my bonk choy. Potato mine. What? Why not take a jalapeno? You know? Now you guys, you're on gold tiles, right? That's what those things are? Gold tiles? I think they're gold tiles, guys. Who is this guy with the golden shovel? Oh no. There's a guy behind you. Not good. Cause you, you, you can blow up with this thing, but I'm gonna have- No, don't dig that up! Ah! Oh! Hey! <laughs> can you guys even blow up from this? Or, or what? You wanna eat that? You wanna go over that? You wanna go over that? Okay, well that'll slow you down a little bit. And this guy over here has no, no hey, 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 wait, stop, blow up. Please blow up, you're not blowing up. There's no, there's there's no ancient Egypt vacuum cleaners over here. They are not in existence. So I'm thinking a lot of sunflowers would be nice. Tier one, 100 sun, 12 recharge. We'll get a lot more of these out. And that could be nice. Okay, now here's our first guy and we're just gonna go ahead and uh, stick this here. Oh, are you blocking? All of this? Well, do you want to give that thing to that guy back there? Thanks. Did he also activate it at the same time? That's crazy, man. So I don't like this guy. Although moving that wasn't the worst thing in the world. If we can actually kill, there we go. This is weird. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe you get the cherry bomb for when things get a little bit weird. Go ahead, just get him on up there. That's the good stuff. <laughs> oh boy. Die, yes, die. Yes! <laughs> oh boy. No, no, you're wrong way. Over there, get him, get him, kill him. He's not dead. What, uh, um, I'm looking it up on the internet. I'm gonna ask how you deal with the excavator zombies. What's the best way to do it? His main weakness is lobber plants such as AKEE -E or melon pult. I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna come back after I beat this level where I unlock the melon pult and then you're gonna get melon pulted. Okay, right in your stupid face. Right over your stupid golden shovel. And I'm gonna get a golden leaf, which is gonna do a thing. Also, I hate you. Prepare your defenses. Okay, so like, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. Um, uh, uh, right across the board here. Bit of that, right? And then a couple more of these guys. Go, uh, uh, wait, uh, let's rock! And then speed it up, okay. I know I could have like, I could have held on to some of my money, right? Okay, you guys are just gonna go ahead and get blown up, huh? I mean, that's fine, that's fine. I'll go ahead and take this, thank you very much. This is gonna be a long level, man. I feel like we might uh, have some bad times. Nah, no way. No way. Okay, thanks for blowing up on my stuff. Not cool, to be honest, but whatever. And don't break those. Those were literally all I had going for me, bro. Come on. Well, just stop. Just don't don't put me through this. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point, man. I just, I, I was thinking maybe the Snapdragons could do something. I'm trying to figure out how the Stalias even work. And to be honest, I'm not quite sure. They're supposed to knock things back in a three by three, I believe. Man, these guys are landing without heads. Kind of crazy. They're getting burnt right off this thing. Maybe healing the Endurians would have done the trick, you know? Whoop, get back out of here! Wait, you die? Well, nobody told me you was gonna die. <laughs> not what I want. I, do, I don't want this death. Don't run over that guy, please. Thank you for not doing that. But looks like we're a little toast here. Okay, well, look, like I said, the Stalia thing didn't work out, so let's try something else. I don't even know, man. I don't even know, whatever, rock. Just go for it. <laughs> How is this gonna work? I don't know. Something's gotta work here. I feel like protecting the things in front would be good, but I also kinda want the, uh, I kinda want the aloe to actually do some healing, right? Now, as you can see, this, these flames are working pretty good with just the two of them because they're covering the whole area. These barrels, of course, are gonna take away my things, right? They're just gonna pop out right away. 
Not the end of the world. Uh, but there are more barrels, so... But hey, check it out. The barrels that are coming now are coming in the uh, the two lanes that still have the things. This is gonna be a bit of a tricky part, though, because, like, we don't really have the firepower, and these guys are gonna very quickly mow down our dudes like that. Don't eat that. What are you doing? Dude, come on. Come on. You, you're getting right now? You just had to put in a hard level here, didn't you? Ridiculous. Ridiculous! Hmm, interesting that this works out perfectly, guys. Um... It's the exact amount of money that we have. These guys are gonna shoot double flaming peas, and the guys in the front are gonna heal the nuts. I don't know, could be good. Could be good, you never know. Now, this is where tiering might come in handy, right? Like having a, having a, a, a plan for which tiers uh, you wanna use, because like re, uh, uh, recharge means nothing, right? Now these guys, there's like not enough area going on here, and now the... Why? Why? They're like doing nothing. They're just doing nothing. They're just, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Can I just have the melon pulled already? Why are you doing this to me? Shut up, this is a perfectly reasonable strategy and you're dumb if you don't agree, okay? Now relax. It's just a game that I can't win. Star power! <laughs> are they even gonna shoot? Pew pew! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Look at those stars, baby. You a star, baby! Boop, boop. Okay, these guys are gonna... Well, are they, though? I was gonna say they're gonna run over the thing, but they didn't, so... And now they got me wondering if I had maybe a few less stars and a little more, um... Oh, 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 boy. You watch it. Uh, maybe if I had less stars and more aloe... We might be able to do something with that. But th these people are dying, man. It's kind of crazy. But I feel like I do need area attack here as well. But the, the barrels are, are really the the worst. Oh, there, there goes some stuff. Okay, okay. Got to keep in mind where these guys swing in from too, eh? Oh, let's just see how far we can get with this. Still working better than I thought it would, okay? <laughs> Those little imps. They're ruining everything. I mean, ob obviously, if you guys roll through and activate my my things, there's not gonna be anything left. I mean, like, <laughs> what do you want from me? There's like one wave, I guess, after this, huh? Well, that was fun. I clearly need some way to deal with all the things coming out of those barrels. Hey, here's an idea. What if, uh, what if the pirates left me alone? What if they just didn't bother killing me every time? What if, what about, what if that? I'm just thinking maybe with the aloe over there, we can kind of protect the weak part. And, uh, and the rest will take care of itself, you know? Even if the little babies come out now, we'll be okay. And this guy is gonna start hurting these, but we can, uh, we can heal it, right? We don't need to heal too much. Should be able to heal enough, right? Beautiful. Now, the children that break out, they're the real problem here. Because if they eat my aloe, it'll be more of a goodbye than a aloe. <laughs> oh. It's healing, but the children, the children will be eating. There it goes. It's all those darn kids' faults, man. It was all going so smoothly until the kids. All right, guys, I might have a strategy that might work. And I know that's a very maybe-ish thing to say, but that's the best I got, okay? You see how I have two of these guys here? That was my problem before. This one lane, it sends out three barrel dudes and it's like impossible. The piercing is pretty much a necessity. So I've got that going for me. Basically this gets me all the way to like the, the third quarter. And then uh, and then I lose because of this um, fourth row. So having the double pierce there might save my life. So let's see what happens. Here. This is what we need to worry about down here, okay? And with the, with the double dudes, we can actually survive this triple barrel situation. See, they're gone. That was the main problem. We're also gonna have the problem of the gargantua, which I'm hoping works itself out in some way, okay? Well, oh, this is magic, hopefully. Excellent, and now a huge wave of zombies is approaching. Can we Can we just clear this up now? Can we get this done? Raiding party, we love to, oh my God, what the heck? You guys look like you're moving real fast here. Slow it down, slow it down. They slowed it down, it's all good. Okay, so uh, we do actually have our uh, mowers, so I guess it's not a big deal at all. You guys wanna go ahead and, and go right through our uh, our stuff? You can if you want, we'll mow you. Go ahead. All right, 
That would have made me really sad if it wasn't for the fact that we got this thing here, okay? The old poop deck swabber. Yeah. Boom. Melon ball, baby! Yeah! God, it took forever! An hour and a half of my time putting to just beating that one level? And finally I was like, okay, look, I know there's this one problem that we have left and it was the, it was the fourth row and we, and we fixed it, okay? It's good. We should prepare ourselves for the mightiest pirate onslaught so far. You may need to start using more expensive plants as cheap plant defense may not be able to last long. Practice with this melon pult against this heavy onslaught. In that case, attack! Melon pult time, huh? Okay. She told me to practice with the melon pult, guys. I'm gonna have to give that a shot. Hang on a second. Aren't I supposed to be using melon pults here? Did I forget about that or something? I'll get to them in a bit. It's all good. Uh-oh, you're gonna have an issue if you don't. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Stop eating that. It's not for you. Please don't eat the whole thing. Here, have you have a melon pult. Let's go melon pult! Yeah, baby! Boom! That melon pult looks pretty strong, guys. Not gonna lie. Looks like a pretty strong dude. I like it. Oh boy. Here, those birds. Those birds aren't getting near me. Okay, that gargantua. Can we just let it? Can we just let him walk on through? All he's gonna do is take out the three Peters. I was gonna get rid of one of them anyway. So just go ahead. Just, just, just have at it, bro. I don't even care, man. Thank you. And replace it with a melon pole. Yeah, baby. We gotta make sure we got these. Uh, Got, the, got these walnuts, okay, those are important. That up there is a bad time. One of them died, the other one did not. Yes, it did. Oh, that was close. I feel like maybe on the top we don't need to worry so much because of uh, because of that bong choy and the fact that anything coming has to fly. Oh my God, it's a lot of birds! Keep, that's it, keep, uh, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. I'm the Wizard of Oz. Whoa, there we go, got him. Okay, we got another Gargantua coming. Let's go ahead and get rid of that and then regret it because I don't have enough, uh, <laughs> don't have enough money to actually get another uh, melon bolt. This is the final wave though. So we can just maybe tell everybody to take it easy. You don't need to eat that. Thank you. Keep it going. Keep, keep it going. We're good, right? We don't, we, I don't feel good. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. Okay, how about let's focus on the rows that we can't salvage. If we if we had enough money, we could we could just kill this guy and then and then we wouldn't have oh crap. So close. I'm gonna abandon my three Peter situation. The three Peters didn't do the trick for me. That means no torchwood either, which means we actually have a chance to bring in like a cherry bomb to make things a little easier. And we could even go with this guy, the iceberg lettuce, to really slow things down, because it's free. So I'm just trying to get my uh, my sunflowers out here, as I'm doing, and the bong choy in the front, with uh, hopefully the nuts in front of those. And then eventually I might be replacing the sunflowers for more melon pulse, if I can. Now, best thing for me to do is put one in the middle first, because the splash damage will hit the sides. You want to focus on getting the middle ones. And I could have technically done second and fourth row and that could have possibly, you know, covered them all, but this is good for now because it'll get both of these guys. And I'm gonna put more in, so it's not a big deal. Th these really are like good meat shields because they're, they're a distraction. The birds are like, oh, I gotta take this. This is definitely like a good thing to take. Oh, don't get, don't take that. Hey. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I'm replacing my first one, guys. Boom. It's in. And now we really gotta get going with these meat shields because this guy is coming. Bird almost took something away, but he didn't. Oh, we can also freeze this guy, which is nice. And then hit him with the old melon, buddy. Show him the old melon trick, son. Good trick, good trick, dad. We should be able to get this guy taken care of before he uh, wreaks any havoc. I mean, that alone, pretty good. I think it was a good choice for me to bring that. He's got bandages on his head. Poor guy. How is he even still alive? This is getting ridiculous. Can you stop? Thank you. Might be time for another melon, huh? Boom. Now we've got lots of ground covered. The birds are gonna get those. Yeah, one of them. It's fine. Have a sunflower instead. It'll pay for itself. Uh, let's blow all this up. <laughs> okay. Was that nice or what? Uh, it's time for a booty punch or two. You can stop. Oh, you're dead. Okay, this guy's getting double punched. Punched in the front, punched in the back. That's that's hurting. That's hurting, bro. Seriously, you're not gonna recover from from such a, a heavy assault to your bottom. Your front bottom and your back bottom. You know what I'm saying? Boom! Did it. 
Now I got this thing. I don't know what it is, but it's adorable. I mean, I know what it is. It's a ro roto bag because a helicopter. I'm ready to go. Pirates are great, but I think I'm getting homesick. What? No, wait, I mean seasick. Crazy Dave, you don't know what you mean. Roll down the window, please. No time for that. We have a Mr. Boss guy to meet. Oh, what? Okay, shoot song diagonals up to four directions at a time. Could be fun, kind of like a star, but stars do five and it's kind of weird. Where are we going? Brr, it's colder than a polar bear eating an ice pop. Indeed, it appears we've arrived in the frostbite caves. My sensors indicate there is an ice flow on the lawn. Data suggests it will block both plants and zombies. Though I predict hungry zombies will find a way through. Look at those cavemen zombies, guys. This is incredible. Get me out of here, okay? I'm not ready for cavemen zombies. I'm ready to do that thing I was gonna do after I did the other thing and I finally did it. So, uh, hello. I gotta do this, okay? I need my little gold leaf. I don't know what he is, but I need to do it. And I got the melons now. So we're gonna make it happen. Okay, uh, is this kind of working? This is kind of maybe working a little bit, guys. Doesn't seem too bad. Bok choys are kind of kind of doing some work here. Okay, now if I can get a quick cherry bomb, blow these guys up, that'd be nice. Okay, you, you might want to stop, dude. I don't, I don't have the means to deal with you. Gosh. Okay. Um, sure, why not? Might as well. Might as well. Um, get rid of that bok choy. Put this guy in, and slow him down. I'm, put, I'm putting the the free guys over here for, for extra money. It's kind of nice. Now, this guy scooping me up and putting me back down again. Kind of hilarious because when he does that, kind of moves me into a better position, but we are kind of dying here. So, uh, can we maybe kill him? Okay, he's dead, but I don't have cherry bombs yet. So can we just stall? Oh, what are you doing on the bottom there? What are you doing down there? Stop, stop. I want to make enough money to actually use my melon pulse, but that's... Tough to pull off. I keep spending it on the freaking bonk choice. Well, we certainly cannot let this happen right here. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, good. A lot of our bonk choice are dying, but as long as our melon pults don't die, I think it'll be okay. Listen, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, I really hate these levels. I know I didn't make a lot of progress today, but I did unlock the melon pult. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it there. I'm trying really hard, guys, but this mod is really tough. It's challenging me. And we're gonna unlock lots of new stuff in the future, okay? Where are we right now? Where, where, where? Oh, this is the secret. Yeah. G give me some tips if you want, because I do want to unlock this gold leaf guy. But man, those shovel guys. I think maybe we need some pierce or something. Maybe get the bloomerangs back in there again. Apparently bloomerangs are pretty good. I like how I'm learning how good some of these plants are as I'm playing some of these levels. Don't know how I'm gonna pull off that one though. The guy shooting and the guy digging and the gargantuars and it's all awful, okay? But I hope you're supporting my adventure, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.